Hi Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. Welcome back to my channel. I hope this reading finds you well. <clears throat> if you're new, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. Um, thank you everyone for all of the support. Uh, personal reading link is below this video. And uh, yeah, just be mindful that the readings um, are general. So they may, they may not resonate with you. Take it with a grain of salt. Um, I'm channeling for somebody, so let's see what's going on. Hello, everyone in the chat. Hope you guys are having a wonderful or had a wonderful weekend. All right, let's take a look here, Virgo. What are the messages for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus? So remember, this reading is fluid, so the messages can come through at any time throughout this month of February. Now that we're out of the retrogrades, especially Venus, uh, love is, I feel like, going to pick back up for just about everybody. All right, let's take a look here. And if you've got someone that ended something with you, they're just telling me, if you had a breakup <clears throat> during the the, um, the retrogrades, I feel like uh, there's something here with somebody who is rethinking that. They're rethinking that that split, that breakup, or if somebody forced you to walk away uh, from a relationship. All right, let's take a look. What are the messages here? Give me just a second. I want to see. I'm feeling a really strong energy, and I'm hearing the name Michael. Michael. Um, Michael, I feel like there's a Michael who's working on somebody's car or is maybe they work with cars maybe it's a michelle it's a or mika okay i'm doing a little bit different you guys let's see okay wow got a tower moment coming in here major shocker something's going on in somebody's life something broke down or fell apart or it's just needing to be rebuilt somebody got a real ego shock you know um somebody's pride they were knocked off their high horse that scorpionic energy there let's see what else is going on oh passion somebody's having some kind of like boom moment tower moment very passionate about you virgo um yeah i feel like there's some type of upheaval somebody could be coming in towards you uh fiery lusty could be a fire energy these are both cards could be cards of mars uh scorpio or uh aries okay so oh boy so many i'm also hearing coming to the rescue somebody's coming to the rescue to help you out with something or something maybe there was a fire I mean, this person could be a fireman um, or they work for a fire department fire brigade uh, there might have been uh, maybe somebody had a um, lightning hit their home or something like that happen I, I'm just picking up somebody's coming into the coming to the rescue to fix something here for or fix a relationship or, or coming back in let's take a look crazy messages Ooh, the high priestess virgo i feel like that's you and i feel like you are kind of like yeah you already know some of you are intuiting something let me see what are you intuiting virgo oh my gosh okay six of wands mm. virgo it's like you know you're worth it you know you're worth this um, a, some, I feel like I'm it's so strange. I feel like somebody is coming in here to, to play the, the, the role of the rescuer or to be your hero. Someone wants to be your hero, but it's kind of hidden. It feels like it's hidden, you know, um, it's, it's almost like this person it feels like they they do this but they don't like they okay they're just giving me they don't want you to know that that's what they're doing or they they don't want you to think that they are um 
with the six of wands like egotistical <laughs> you know or that they're coming or that they're do, trying to help you with something in order to i guess i want to say reap all the rewards do you know what i mean like somebody is coming in here to do to help you or to um come back into a broken situation not not for an ego boost because the high priestess it makes me feel like it's a it's a very humble energy um i feel like somebody just wants to win your heart okay so we have cancer we have piscean energy as well let's see what else is going on okay sagittarius energy bring things back into balance wow and start over you've got somebody here who's just you know if i <laughs> i mean it sounds so i don't know if it's cliche but it feels like you've got like somebody coming in here you know with like a cape coming in here to like rescue and save the day or uh try to help fix a relationship or something that's broken in your life but like i said they want to be a hero for you and help you um you and and them have like a new start bring things back into balance it almost feels like this person feels called to you um we have leo we have taurus aquarius this person feels called okay wow you're looking so good to this person virgo you've got the nine of pentacles which is your card you're stable you're financially stable you have your designs about you you have abundance you're full of abundance you you know you're you're in a position this is how they see you as um just very attractive to them let me see okay and they see you as being very well balanced and able to take your time with making decisions in your life in other words like i feel like this person looks at you and they see you as someone who um isn't needy and isn't desperate because you have everything you need like because you're in such a good position they know that you can choose and you can be picky or you can have whomever you want like you don't you're not in a position where they don't see that you're in a position where you're trying to fill a void is what i'm saying let me take a look at this high priestess okay and i feel like this person admires you um and wants to bring because both of these cards temperance and the ten uh the two of pentacles gives me a sense of like it's bookending uh balance all right i feel like this person is aware that you can what you can like choose your options you that's what i feel like they don't want something here to end and like i was saying in the beginning if there was some kind of breakup this person um is rethinking this whole situation i feel like they're coming back in because they want to try to unhurt you that's the word they're giving me they want to unhurt you all right let's look at the high priestess here you know but they're keeping it kind of hush hush it's it's like i feel like this person's going to come in and you know if your pipes are broken there's water streaming out if you had some damage to your home or if you had some something uh, weather related or just something in the relationship that things got broken down in your life i feel like they're coming in showing that they want to try to make it better for you or try to make it better for both of you but they're keeping it like a secret you know they're definitely with the six of wands coming in with this you know i guess i want to say like they want you to recognize that their intentions here are good but they're keeping it like i want to say tampered down they're saying um tempered let's see the high priestess okay yeah they have the nine of swords they really stress they don't want you to think that they're coming to you um in vain 
they have a lot of anxiety about that uh, it feels like maybe you might they, they have a fear a, a, a fear that you might feel that way there's a lot of grief i feel with this person um they know that you're hurting or that they if this was someone from your past that they know that they've hurt you um and that maybe you're struggling some of you might be suffering from nightmares or just having a lot of anxiety at night and they're aware i feel like this person they're having a lot of anxiety themselves too i feel like both of you are like when this person they're the secret that they're holding to themselves or keeping close to their chest is they made a mistake they have a lot of anxiety about um you know breaking something down or anxiety that you're stressed or you're in a place of grief let's take a look at this temperance card here oh gosh the star so this person views you as remarkable virgo like you are someone you have a very healing energy you are someone you kind of like you renew very quickly um i was just saying like um i don't know who it is i have an image uh, it's like a, a Marvel character, someone who I, I don't, oh, Luke, 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 it was a Marvel movie, Luke something, I just saw him, it's like someone who uh, gets cut or gets injured, but then they, they heal almost automatically, you know what I mean, like they, they, there's no scars left, I almost feel like this person is astounded by your resilience and your ability to keep helping others despite your um, your own pain and your own struggle and your own anxieties. They don't understand, I feel, Virgo, that your anxieties, when you help others, that actually relieves your anxiety a lot. And I feel like this person sees how you bring so much peace and healing, not just to others, but to them. And it's almost like, and of course that's Aquarius energy. They see you as a star, like a North Star. You know, this person looks at you like it's a miracle. Like you, they can't even believe that someone like you exists. So the world is here. So it feels like there's a turning point happening here for this person. Um, there could be some type of communication over the internet from this person. I feel like they want to either come to where you are, because I'm picking up emigration uh, or travel of some sort. I feel like this person has learned a very huge lesson. Let's take a look. Wow, the wheel of fortune with the world. So definitely a turning point. I'm hearing it's time. I'm hearing now it's time now to make big change okay because this person is taking a, a huge gamble i feel like in the past they didn't take a risk or take some kind of gamble maybe they did in other areas of their life but in regards to the relationship or just in relationships in general this person never really took a uh like a gamble a risk i was looking at the tower and to clarify that with the Four of Swords, I feel like something here needed to be destroyed in order to bring peace and a renewal and recovery in a relationship here. So if there was a breakup with someone or if there was silence um, or just something in general in this person's life or in your life, I feel like that the situation, whatever the tower moment was that happened, um, that wasn't something like it was like an unwanted kind of thing, a lot of upheaval, whatever that was, that happened for a reason to birth. It's like the spring. I just keep hearing the spring 
energy coming in and I feel like there's a new a new flower coming up and I'm just seeing like a very spring something happening in the spring as well there's a revival happening or a renewal um all right let me get another couple of cards to see what else is going on with this person there you are wow you are on their mind um feminine or masculine you are on this person it's like all they think about is you virgo okay this person could be a virgo as well or taurus or capricorn but they just look at you and you're very calm and you're relaxed i mean even if you're not virgo <laughs> I mean, they know that maybe at night you're having some struggles or they sense, they sense that energy, um, maybe some bad dreams or you may have told them, or maybe you've just told other friends like this person, I feel there's a, a strong intuition with this person, but, um, I don't know. They, but for the most part, they see you as someone who's very stable and calm and in abundance sitting there with your little bunny rabbit. Let me see. Okay. And they also see that you're, um, they like what they like about you, Virgo, is that you are full of ideas. You're someone who's got, um, you got a lot of plans, Virgo. You always seem to have a lot of plans and they like that about you. You're always, um, creating new ways to make money or business opportunities. Um, you always have, um, a lot of conceptual ideas um you're very grounded they see and they like that about you i don't why did this if this was someone you were connecting with why i want to ask why the relationship why there was a breakup what was going on because i feel like this person has also had a tower moment hit them where they want to recover this connection, this relationship. If they ended it with you, why was it? Okay, there might have been a third party. There might have been a, somebody else involved. Okay. Um, could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Or just could be somebody else, male or female, or masculine or feminine that was involved. Might have said some things. Or someone they were involved with. It turned out to be like a real nasty um, mf -er. Okay, um, so the Ten of Pentacles, it could have been a family member um, tried to destroy something or a relationship or them um, or they were connected with someone in business or in real estate. Something fell apart. Let me see what else is going on here. Oh my gosh, yes, the Ten of Swords. Somebody ended something with your person or they ended it with them. There was a lot of upheaval and betrayal in the past. And I feel like this person is, you know, if this is a past person, there's definitely a wake up call for some of you meeting somebody new or currently talking to somebody, whoever it is, the energy is like, oh my gosh, the passion for you, Virgo, from this person is extremely like it's on fire on fire and i feel like this person is coming towards you with that passion with that lust to try to help you or to try to repair something or fix something in your life or just <laughs> for some of you this person was involved with another person and you you called this person um i don't know if you you know them or you you might call them maybe it's like a tow truck i don't know um, but there's like this moment where whoever this person is, it comes in, they're like wild by you. Just something about you, Virgo has them really uh, like, you know, they're the, like the shark biting into a, a leg, <laughs> the eyes roll over, they gloss over, they glaze over. Like it's almost orgasmic <laughs> with that tower. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Okay. Mm, all these queens showing up so this person i feel like um you know they what they also like about you is that you take your time to make your decisions about things but but you're very confident and self-assured 
and they find that to be very attractive you don't rush into anything you're um i feel like they view you as someone who's um, a bit feisty but you pick and choose your battles and they really like that about you your cutoff game is strong you don't take any ish from anybody if you need to cut people out of your life you you'll do it because you sit there like the queen of wands that's how they view you as well you have they see your passion your passion and your fire virgo is a little subdued because of your earth energy um because your earth energy wants to keep you grounded right so you're not as on fire as say like um, a fire sign um genuine fire sign you do have your passion but you you take a moment you pause first before you um do something but then when you get it in your head that this is what you want to do then you are like you're then like a fire sign and this person i feel like they absolutely love that about you you know when to um cut things out that aren't working for you rethink things re-strategize and then when you get your bee a bee in a bonnet about something then you're on to it a hundred percent you know um they also view you as a little bit of a heartbreaker or that you could break a lot of hearts maybe you've broken their heart in the past for some of you i feel like that has happened and yet they're still so insanely attracted to you um, enough so that i feel like running back in with that you know maybe they're coming in on their horse or a police car or you know they're traveling back in your way it, it's almost as if your confidence even though they know that you could cut them out of your life um even if some even if somebody cuts you out they know that you're not going to chase and i feel like they find that to be so sexy it's just so sexy um and they like that you also you don't play around this is what they see about you virgo you don't play around if there's other people um if there's others who have romantic interest in you and you're not interested in them you won't just be a flake with others you will cut people out but you you won't do it for others you do it for yourself because you want what's best for you oh okay i think this is the first king so the king of cups so cancer scorpio piscean energy but this is someone um, whatever their sign they come in with very deep emotions they're very wise okay masculine or feminine energy um very tolerant um supportive okay let's take a look and see why is this king of cups here okay watching you this person is watching you they're spying they're trying to get information about you currently okay they're very curious about you <laughs> um this person is not weak they're very strong okay very very strong um and they want to know what you're up to who you're talking to they're seeking some type of truth from you let's see what else here Oh my gosh, you're getting some type of message if you haven't already. Um, they have love ideas in their head about you. Okay, for some of you, this is definitely an apology. Okay, a truthful, truthful apology. Okay, the, the way it's delivered is, I want to say, um, it's kind of like, I'm really sorry. It's not in depth. Okay, it's not in depth, but it is truthful. I feel like if this person was someone you were with before and they ended it with you, um, they have a they're, they're, there's grief and regret about that. And I do feel like this person is sorry. Um, and also, if this is not someone that you, uh, like this is somebody new is coming in, could be somebody working on your car or whatever, repairing something, I feel like they're coming in very sweet. And they will be like communicating with you um, and asking you out or wanting to connect with you. They're exchanging of phone numbers. Some of you might have already done that. They're sweet communication, text messages. Um, it could be like phone messages or messages through apps, stuff like that. Let's see. Oh, wow. Ten of Wands energy. Okay. 
Oh, it just they're just telling me that this person just wants to ease your burden. Okay. Um I feel like part of this apology that this person is aware of um, what they've done is that they've caused you to have to bear the burden. I'm just hearing that song, um, You Ought to Know. It's really old from Alanis Morissette. I want you to know. Yeah, this person really um, made you carry that cross. And there's like a, they're aware they're very aware and you know what virgo you picked up that cross or that heavy burden or that weight the weight of the world and you carried that all the way through you didn't you just said you know what okay this is this is what i have to bear this is what i'm going to bear and i'm going to get to the end of this and i'm going to drop these bundles or drop this heavy wood or cross or whatever this thing is that i've been having to bear for so long i'm carrying it with pride and i'm going to carry it well and then I'm going to drop it. Okay, look, here's the Hierophant. Some of you, you know, I feel like this person, they want to marry you, Virgo. They want to be in a long-term committed relationship, but they want to do it in a way where it's spiritual. Um, it's because that's something that you're into. And I don't know if your person is really spiritual or they're into that, but I feel like they might've given you a hard time about your spiritual beliefs perhaps um but i feel like this person like if it there's an energy where they're like they're ready to conform they want to conform i don't know what that means if, if you're like of a certain denomination they want to conform to your denomination if you're heavily into that or if you're just universal uh, they want to conform to that um, be a part of that there's taurus energy again Let's see what else is going on here. Oh, Aries. Okay, this person's coming in um, wanting to take the lead here. You know, being very strategic. Okay, um, also being someone who wants to either have children with you, um, create something brand new with you. But they're, I feel like this person they're either having some type of level up or awareness or awakening about who they are even if they're female they're coming in with this um, divine masculine energy where it's like the emperor is someone who is well respected um, and I feel like this person wants you to respect them but they don't want to like I don't get a sense that they're coming in to do any harm or to do any love bombing that when the high priestess is there that energy is very humble you know it's 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 very um in like intuitive so it's almost as if this person is coming in um they trust you they have a lot they just something about you um makes them feel like they can trust you now as this reading is happening and uh, I don't know if that was different in the past, but or if maybe it was never. But they're waking up to that fact that they feel like they can, they can anything that they tell you, um, and anything that you say, you're trustworthy, you're grounded, you're honest, and they love that about you because I don't feel like this person has people in their life that can really just let them be who they are. I don't feel like this person ever felt that way, but with you they get that sense that they can just be they can make mistakes they can mess up they can be imperfect and i'm not talking about big mistakes like big moral mistakes i'm talking about just removing the mask and just being who they are so this person has a knight of swords man they've been thinking about you They've been dreaming about you, fantasizing about you with the Seven of Cups. You may have ghosted this person. They're looking for you. And I feel like with that Knight of Swords energy, they're very determined. Um, they're going to have a very assertive energy um, to come towards you, especially with the Emperor. This person is taking a leadership role in this connection, either to come in and help um, or to unhurt your heart or show up the way you need them to show up okay i feel like this person just you are always on their mind like they're always 
fantasizing about you. This person knows that they had commitment issues in the past. Um, and I feel like for them, the real problem really uh, wasn't so much commitment issues. It's just that they always put so much on their plate. You know, like, you know, like when you go to buy a roll of paper towels in the supermarket. Now, this is my Virgo in me is being very grounded with my readings. You go to buy like paper towels in the supermarket and there's like 20 different brands and you just spend all the whole time comparing and then is it two ply is it 20 ply is it like what's the cost of this what's the you know i know some of you are just like no nah, i don't do that i just go and grab the paper towels but you know maybe it's a particular food or it's a particular piece of clothing it's like when you go to get something and you've got so much on your plate it's impossible to it takes so much time this person might have taken a long time to make a decision maybe because there were other options or other things in their life that they needed to take care of i don't feel like this person could ever really just take one thing and just say that's make the decision that's what i'm going to go with but it feels to me like their determination here now to actually they want you the one that they feel like they can't have because there's something special about you virgo something that you don't reveal so much to the entire world you just reveal to people who mean something to you and they feel or felt that energy um, they feel that energy with you that whatever you've shown this person has been special just for them and i feel like this person is coming to terms with they're aware of that or or you reveal something to them during this month where they it gives them that light bulb moment like wow or you tell them, you know, I've never, maybe you said this before, you're, you're going to tell them, I've never told anybody this. So this is just between us. They feel very special because you are confiding in them. And that's how they know that they can trust you because you're letting them into a part of yourself that you don't normally open up to people. And they want you. Look at this. The Four of Wands. You know, trust gets built when we are vulnerable right trust does not get build built when we have masks on um because we don't want to be in relationships with somebody else's representative because it's false okay and i feel like virgo you're going to be opening up and telling this person something revealing something about yourself that they were very curious about like i said they're trying to get some information on you or just find out some truth and they may ask you a question that you make a decision to reveal and open up about and i feel like that draws this person in even more okay so much so with the four of wands that this person it's almost like they want to tell their family about you. They want to, like, um, they want to marry you. Like, you're it for them. You're coming in as being the person that this they just know. It's like they know whatever happened in the past. Whatever, if it was too, if this is like your past person, whatever happened in the past, they're aware. If this is somebody, for some of you, you're just meeting this person in February. It's like, you're the one. You are the one. All right, let's get a couple more cards. Look, Gemini energy. So we have the magician. And just so you know, if I didn't call your sign, uh, your person's sign, don't worry about it. The message, if it resonates, it resonates. Don't worry about the signs. This person is coming in. There's a gift um they think you have some type of a magic gift with the the magician and the ace of pentacles um you are an opportunity this person i feel like is coming in here um and i do feel like they're going to try to they want to invest they want to give you a gift there's going to be some type of maybe it's a monetary gift it's kind of like um they're coming in here like they have all their cards on the table. This person has visions of you um, or will be having like wants to turn the visions that they have here into reality with you. And that's kind of like what the magician does. The magician is like sets magician sets his intentions to manifest the things that they want and then it comes to life here because pentacles are tangible so then it just comes down like the opportunity comes this person i don't know if they pray for you or they've been hoping and and just 
maybe even like just setting their intentions, asking higher power um, uh, to bring something, bring, allow something to happen, give them an opportunity um, to uh, make an offer to you. And I feel like they're, that's going to happen here. Wow. Yeah, this person, you are there. You are there. You are their ace. Uh, they just said ace in the hole, in the ace in the cup hole, ace in the cup. You like, there's so much potential they see. I feel like there's nobody else for this person, and I f I feel like they're gonna feel that in regard to you. One more, please. Okay. So justice. We have Libra and energy. So this person's coming in with the whole truth, the whole truth to bring balance fairness help you maybe with some legal problems you know i don't know if somebody has legal problems or this person maybe they work um in a position uh like a lawyer or they work with in the legal industry of some sort let me get the romance angels here and see what the romance angels messages are um yeah so i feel like this person In a, in a love reading, the justice card, this feels like this person, they, if you wanted to, I feel, okay, they're just saying, um, somebody here is going to be getting married um, without having the ceremony first. There's going to be like, um, I feel like this person's going to ask for your hand in marriage, but not to like, uh, like just go get married. I don't even know if there's, there might be like a ring or an engagement or make an offer or say to you, you know, let's go on that trip. Let's go somewhere. Let's fly somewhere near the mountains. Let's go get married somewhere. It's like, like legal, you know, without all the fancy fluff and, you know, a wedding ceremony. Like this person, it, this is like, they're going to do it so quickly. This is what they, they just know. There's nothing for them to think about here. You're it for them. All right, let me take a look. One of the romance angels messages. Okay, children, your love life is being affected by children. So some of you, you may have known this person when you were a child um, or when you were children. Somebody here may have children um, or they may want children with you. There's a very playful energy about the two of you in this reading that I feel like is going to be the essence of the relationship where it's like it's like two people like how children are with each other you know they just I heard somebody saying will you be my friend <laughs> like a child there might be an immature kind of energy but it's it's not bad it's just I feel like when you two come together there's going to be this feeling of playfulness playing having fun innocence playing with animals um somebody just got a puppy i just heard or somebody's dog is having puppies or somebody's going to maybe you're going to get a puppy together for some of you um okay yep look deception someone was wearing a false self mask in this relationship if you knew this person from before they might have been very immature um and they were with this mask um hiding behind something and i feel like um the mask that they were wearing was like a very immature mask in other words this person if you knew them before they couldn't commit because child children don't commit to each other they don't understand they just they're just together when they're together and when they're not they're not you know um i feel like this person might may have prior children with someone who was a deceiver or a very um spiritually disordered person as well i'm also listen there's engagement here and this is what i was saying so there may be engagement or proposal for marriage or just a higher level of commitment is coming in here in february with somebody what else okay getting to know each other yeah it's like all the masks are being removed now revealing the innermost selves and remember how i said um what makes the bond strong and the trust happen is when we are open and vulnerable and reveal 
things, reveal our struggles, reveal our hurts, reveal our shames, reveal our pains. I feel like the opportunity to do that is going to happen. And that is what I feel like is going to be the spark to where two people are like, wow, this is the realest thing ever. And I feel like for you, Virgo, I know as a Virgo, um, you're not one to open yourself up and reveal things to people unless you feel like you can fully trust them. But something here has me feeling like you're going to do this anyway. And I'm really not sure. Um, there's just something I feel like you're going to be feeling in regard to this person where you might even blurt it out you're just gonna say something and that it's like you're gonna know you're just gonna i feel like a lot of you have just been in hermit mode for a long time and isolating and not opening yourselves up but you know i feel like doing that i i see you doing it and just revealing something like a deep, deep secret that you've been stressing over or you've had a lot of anxiety about. And I feel like this person will welcome what you have to share because they want to help you with something. They want, you know, in a lot of ways, they do want to be a hero for you, you know, and make your scars and your pains magically disappear. Um, what the Luke Cage, that's the name. Maybe somebody's name is Luke or somebody's name is Cage. Uh, maybe it's Nicholas Cage. I don't know. Yeah, but I feel like this person, they want you to need them. They want you to need their help. They don't want, because they feel like the bond can't deepen between you two unless you need each other. And it's okay um, to say, you know, what what does this what can this person help me with it's okay to ask for help they want to be your everything what's this okay luck is on your side virgo the wheel is turning in your favor you have the midas touch good things are coming now so be ready you deserve this virgo karma is on your side for all the good you've put out in your life it's coming back around and it's going to be a huge payoff virgo all right let's see okay it's time to go, Virgo. It is time to go. Don't waste any more time. Just do it. And that's what I feel like a lot of this has to do with you asking for help from somebody and them coming to your rescue, you know, whether it's in the physical world or the emotional or, you know, spiritual, you know, mental, whatever it is. You, um, you just, I see blockages just being removed. And that's probably why you're going to be able to do this. Okay. I mean, I feel like a lot of you are like, what the hell? What else? What do I have to lose? Really? You know, holding this pain within is only going to be a cancer to my soul. Opening it up and sharing it with somebody is going to make you look so real and raw and vulnerable and honest and truthful and it, revealing something to this person or someone is going to give them the impression that, you know, you're letting go of your fear and, you know, they get to see the side of you that nobody gets to see. That's very, very special. The who you are deep down, you know, not who you are behind your career behind your uh your makeup behind your bravado or you know an ego thing whatever it is whatever you're carrying around that you're hiding behind you know showing yourself as real and authentic as you can is going to bring love that's going to bring love okay ghosted or blocked see i feel like that energy is coming away which is what i was saying this person yep an emotional wish being granted here okay so i feel like virgo i feel like a lot of you ghosted somebody or blocked them um or you were ghosted and had been blocked but i feel like there's something that you do or something that you share or you reveal is going to bring this emotional wish that you want here again the nine of cups energy okay beautiful 
Nines are all about completion. Okay, hitting rock bottom. A lot of you, Vir a lot of you, I almost said a lot of you Virgos. Like I'm from New York. A lot of you guys needed to get to this place. And so did somebody else, okay? So if this is a past thing, definitely a message for both of you. If this is somebody new coming in, you're both coming away from, you know, a Ten of Swords moment where it's like there's nowhere else to go now but up. You know, um, really having some kind of um, wake-up call. Two people having a major wake-up call in their life. Okay. Um, how much time do we have? Okay. Let's get into... Let's take a look and see who your people are. Names, dates, what the energy is, birthdays, and any other messages that I can pick up here for you. If you notice, you guys, I did not use the Island Time Wellness cards because I felt like phew, I needed to clear that energy, those cards out. So let me see. What's this Virgo? What are Virgo's messages? Names, dates, special messages, birthdays, signif signifiers. Okay. All right, well, somebody definitely loves daffodils or somewhere where there's daffodils. Somebody's taking care of their mother at this time. We have the letter S and we have the letter V. Um, somebody's looking at stained glass windows, maybe on Etsy or there's browsing Etsy at this time. Um, there's also a grandmother here with a cat grandmother hello grandmother grandmother with, with a cat all right let me see what else <laughs> okay i'm seeing um okay the letter p the letter p significant for somebody um but I'm seeing um, there's a young man or a young boy in your life. Um, and I'm, I'm just seeing him here on the card. And he wears a hoodie. And he wears Doc... Doc... Um, I don't know what that name is. I think we've said that before. He wears trainers or sneakers a lot. He wears maybe basketball pants. I feel like he's going to be significant. Short brown hair, dark brown eyes. Um, I feel like he's going to be significant in the month of February. Um, he's got something to tell you. Some truth. Okay. Um, something about a grandmother. Some truth about a grandmother. Okay. Now, grandmother feels sad or lonely or she needs to have a cat or something or she misses her cat it's strange um okay okay there's a mother there's there's a there's a mother and a daughter and a child here i'm seeing also letter g two somebody's 53 um oh and i'm just hearing something about a gps as well um there might be a child um maybe of yours or a young young guy maybe 17 18 19 20 somewhere along those lines who wants to have a child as well or it might be asking a mother and a grandmother about um about a baby I feel or something. I don't know if it's their baby. Um, somebody lives in Georgia. Okay. Um, maybe the letter H. Uh, somebody's 51. Okay. Oh, they're just giving me the numbers 111, like the angel numbers 111. 
I feel like there's um, somebody's coming in to apologize about something as well. Um, this may be, I don't feel like it's connected to this reading because I already said that. This is something else. There's either a grandmother, a mother, or a teenager, or a young male who's coming in to make an apology for something. Express some love. Okay. Wow. Oh, we get the letter H again. That's twice. Somebody, okay, I'm getting the number 18. Um, I'm also getting um, 23, 35, 21, okay. Pisces, they're telling me Pisces. Somebody, uh, there's a Piscean energy. Could be a young Pisces. What is going on here? Oh my gosh, just got a really difficult, okay. All right, something with this young man is getting into some kind of like healing or recovery. I'm just hearing that, okay. It's, it's, um, it's something that's going to make somebody very happy, okay? Um, there's also a love letter being written and sent, okay, to someone. Maybe to you, or you're going to write one to somebody else. Um, it's also part of an apology. Um, somebody's going to shed some light on something. Like some insight, some truth. Um, somebody also, I feel like this young man is going to say he's just tired and he just needs your help. He's tired and he needs your help. He either needs you to pray for him or he needs you to um, just be there for him because he's going through some emotional cycles. That's, these are very strong messages tonight. Um, okay, let me just. Somebody's also do is like gonna is it like either a yogi, yoga teacher or something. So we're getting the letter C. Um, sixteen. Okay. Um, and again, I'm picking up somebody lives near like a city or a building that's being um, built right now. It's being built or rebuilt or something's being done on the outside of this building. Some kind of work. Somebody hits it big, either doing betting or gambling. Okay. Um, Again, the letters S and the letter V. Um, somebody, somebody like walks away with a big amount of money. Okay, um, somebody's forty-five or fifty-four. Okay, let's see. Wow, you're gonna get some of this money. <laughs> Either it's you walking away from something that you're investing in, or a game you're playing, or some gambling or, you know, um, something that you're doing here um, or somebody else's, you're going to definitely be in the position of receiving whatever this money is. I don't know where it's coming from for sure. Okay. Um, could be a parent. It could be a spouse or someone you work with. I'm, I'm feeling like a strong financial security. We have the letter K here, strong financial, like success here. Prosperity coming to you based on a, a win, some kind of winnings or a win. All right, one more and I'm gonna do your charms. Wow, like you're gonna be doing so well. Virgo, you're gonna be able to buy that ring you've been looking to buy. Some of you have been trying to buy a ring. Um, it's like, uh, this is for me or buy somebody a ring or maybe somebody's going to be purchasing one for you. Like I said earlier, um, 
And we also have 15. I feel like there's a surprise coming in here or somebody works in a jewelry store maybe as well. Okay, let's get your charms. Let's see what other messages you have here. Oh, this one just, it flew out, but where did it go? Didn't you hear it? Did you hear it? It hit the table and then, oh, there it is. Oh, it's a white, um, oh, what are those flowers called? Give me a second, you guys. I can never remember things when I try to recall off the top of my head. They come out in the spring. Oh, a blossom, like a Japanese blossom, I think they're called. And they're, they bloom white in the spring. Very beautiful. So I don't know if you have those near you where you live. Um, maybe you, they'll be blooming soon. Um, definitely, I don't know what the hell that groundhog said, but spring is like right around the corner here. Okay, or maybe you draw them or there's somebody's a tattoo artist or does tattoos. White, it's white though. It's, it's white blossoms. Something to do with white, white blossoms. Okay. Oh, wow. I just saw one of these birds today. How strange. And I was like, who's that? There's a red robin. Well, it's a robin. I don't think we've had a robin in my readings. But if you start, see, I'm telling you, uh, s spring is, is here. There's a robin here. Uh, something beautiful going to be occurring for you in the spring for sure um now maybe somebody's name is robin or you go eat at red robin i don't know you, if you see a bird in a tree with a blooming flower this message here is 100 percent for you this is signifying uh new beginnings happening here in your life wow what is this This looks like a unicorn to me. Maybe you're gonna be riding horses. This is definitely, wow, all these like magically delicious charms coming in here. Maybe somebody's Irish. There's something to do with this beautiful, um, a unicorn here. Like that, I feel like that's what the message is gonna be here for you guys, something, oh wow. And you've got, you've got a, um, a a stringed instrument some of you are may even be getting paid very well um if you do music or you're making like tracks or something or you there may be a job offer that comes in for you maybe you're playing with your musical in instrument right now or listening to music guitar or violin or cello or bass or whatever it is um learning something i feel like if you're creating a song it's going to be like a um like a one hit wonder some of you are going to become one hit wonders because i feel like well some of you already are in a lot of ways but i feel like um or you there's somebody you're connecting with very famous or is like it was is there either are a one hit wonder or they they were a one hit wonder okay so i'm gonna leave your messages there i love them this was such a beautiful message you guys um so yeah if you want to get a personal reading all of the month of february i am giving a discount um so go over and check that out the link is below and do stay tuned i am launching something pretty freaking amazing um but i've been working on it as i said in my community section um it's going to take a little time so maybe by the spring i'll have that up and ready for everybody um but yeah that's basically it. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here tonight and tomorrow and all for all time <laughs> that you guys have been here. And I will see you very soon. Hopefully tomorrow, if not the, the day after. All right. Love you guys. Bye.